Hi, you're watching the Disney Twins. I'm Marianne. And I'm Arianne. <laughs> Woo! of your not so scary Halloween experience. Absolutely, so number one is bring things and glow. It's gonna be a little bit darker for this party than it normally is, so be sure to bring things that light up and glow <laughs> and all sorts of fun accoutrement, <laughs> especially for your stroller, because sometimes those stroller parking areas are kind of hard to see. Mm -hmm. So you wanna make sure that you've got something that kind of sticks your stroller out. Yes, so um, what I'm wearing is actually a necklace that you can buy on the Disney Parks app, but you can also, of course, buy it at the parks. Yep. I've they've already got them got on like stands and stuff, like as you like little carts as you're coming in. They've got them all lined up, ready to go. Yes, and they do multiple buy. lighting options. I nice. also was given last year by some friends, thanks Richard Lara, who went the um, tree collecting pumpkin that lights up. But we'll get to that in a second. Yes. If you don't want to splurge on all the light stuff, of course, you can go to Target and spend Dollars. a dollar. <laughs> and get the glow bracelets and necklaces to of course decorate yourself, your kids, your stroller, um, your husband even if you prefer, yep. uh, and, uh, and that'll do the trick. It does help, because when you see them and they're light, you know, lighting up and stuff, you know, and, and it's easier to spot, especially if you get distracted yes. by the candy. Yes. Oh, yes. Speaking of candy. Speaking of candy. Yes, so item two is <laughs> no, what? The treats. Okay, so you can definitely have fun and splurge and buy these adorable trick or treat. Uh, treat. And they, they now glow, which my mom has one that she's like really upset that she spent all this money buying one for my nephews and nieces uh, because now they light up and glow and they're really mm -hmm. adorable. They're a little heavy though. They are heavy and they're kind of cumbersome and when you're in the park, it kind of gets to be a little bit of a dumping out hazard yes. as far as the bags. Now, Disney will give you these like plastic uh, bags mm -hmm. that are free. They're more promotional bags. Yeah. They are good size though, and you can get all your night's worth of candy in them. But if you're like me, and I'm going with just myself and my daughter, and the stroller, or and the book bag, and us, we we took, you know, it's the four of us trick or treating. I bring a, and it's just a bag that you get from the dollar section at Target, or you can get one of the shopping bags that they give you at the Disney store, mm -hmm. um, and you can put all of the bags in here. So as you're not trick-or-treating, you only have one bag of candy to deal with. And this can get heavy after a while, so you wanna make sure it's a good quality bag. It's not like gonna fall apart on you or anything. That's but it definitely true. does make it a lot easier towards the end of the night when you have kids that are passed out, ready to go, you just gonna <laughs> throw it on. Cause I mean, really, I mean, let's be honest, if, if it's the kid or the candy, which one are you gonna go for? The kid? The candy. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry girl. Well, definitely <laughs> in our house. And I have to say, uh, Arianne's very proud of me because I've already <laughs> done item three, yes. which is to make a plan. Yeah, unfortunately this plan is really important. You've got only got five hours of party time and they do allow you in starting at four o'clock. So you can kind of get in a little bit earlier to kind of enjoy something. Right, but nothing starts as no. far as the themed events until seven. So seven, so you've got seven to midnight to do all this stuff. Mm -hmm. My best suggestion, Marianne, is to work counterclockwise clockwise or clockwise you just kind of pick a place and kind of work your way around the park yes and if you watched place. our this or that's when we talked about her being left-handed mm -hmm. she goes to Adventureland first mm -hmm. but <laughs> for this though you are actually kind of filtered to filter Tomorrowland. In into Tomorrowland so we start in Tomorrowland and then we work our way across when there is not a show or a parade happening because that was a big rookie mistake that we made last year with, especially with the Sanderson sisters Ooh. on how um, kind of yeah, they're the Popular focus of that were. central um, show in front of the castle, the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited because basically what I did was I looked up, not all the rides are open, remember that, so I looked up the rides that were open, the characters that are unique and where they were available, and I just put them in a notes on my phone, and then I put them by area of the park so I know not only which characters and rides are open in Fantasyland, but also what unique special treats are there, yes. because if I do not get a candy corn ice cream cone, Mickey ain't gonna be very happy. So. And I just tell Mary to make sure you grab those early because they will sell out. Yes, yeah. there's a lot of really themed goodies you don't want to miss nope. at the Not So Scary Halloween so, Party. Dawn Halloween costume, even if it's a white t-shirt with dots on it and a Olaf shirt as <laughs> well. Well, I'm Minnie and you're looking at Minnie. Actually, I have a black, I, I went really cheap this time because my daughter wanted to be Minnie until about two days ago when she decided to be Elsa, <laughs> let it go. 
Uh, so I'm just in a black shirt and a red skirt with some That's leggings cute. and these ears. Yes. So. That'll be adorable. And yeah. you guys are going to have a great time. And definitely wear a costume because, especially for the kids. You don't want to be that guy. No, you don't want to be that guy walking around. Well, and for the kids too, they see other kids dressing up. You don't want them to be kind of left out. So. And we'll play a How Many Elsas Do We See? Oh, actually, not that many. <laughs> well, she's a little past Elena. Now. Elena. It's Elena, Elena Vavalor now. Well, she wanted to be that nice. Like, you know, we already bought the Elsa dress. So we'll be Elena next That's year. That's why Anna. Uh, Ainsley was on it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed our Pixie Dust Pointers. I'll be back to let you know how well we did Absolutely. at Nikki's Dust And party. we have some more pointers on our blog, which is the DisneyTwins.wordpress.com. So be sure to check those out. And yes. so, yeah.